open source can help you to achieve good results on your career. Today, let's talk about why you should care more about open source to move your career forward and how to join any open source product. Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Otavio Santana and I help you to become an ultimate engineer. So if you want to know more around open source, good practice, software engineer and architecture, please join me and subscribe on my channel. Okay, before I start how to contribute to open source project, please allow me to explain why you should care around open source world after all. Uh, the first reason is because, on my opinion and based on fact, uh, the open source industry is the most mature soft engineering. I mean, you can really reach the ultimate stage of sophistication with software engineering exploring the open source. Uh, take a look at those samples here. So. In the open source world, we do have several projects that are, that is, more than 25 years old. For example, Java, the JVM, Python, and so on. Those are products that is older than 25 years old because they can use and explore an evolutionary design and architecture inside those products. So they're able to refactor in the code, understand the context and move forward. It has an amazing culture to share knowledge. It has a distributed and scalable teams because the open source, you can work everywhere. You can contribute everywhere. And less, you can reuse components inside the open source products. For example, in Apache, we do have Apache Commons that basically is one component, one component that you can use or reuse in several products inside and outside Apache Foundation. Hopefully, I explain you uh, why you should care more about open source and take the samples and put in your career because our companies right now wants you have more reusability, distributed teams, scalable teams, better software quality, and so on. So how to learn that is using is joining in any kind of open source world. And to do it, I will give you five steps. The first one, it is the easy one. It is choose the project or the product to choose, to join, to learn, to apply, go there, then introduce yourself, the second step. So tell me who you are, where you're from, that's how you can help. So people is able to understand who you are and give you advice to contribute in this open source product. Then observe. See what's going on in the mail list on the Slack channel. Understand the procedure, the methodology inside this product. And the last one is the most easier. That is basically do what nobody, nobody else wants you to do. For example, go to the documentation, read the documentation. And based on that, start to do and give feedbacks about this documentation. Amazing, right? So you can help doing this way. Another option, help to increase the test quality inside these products. Nobody there to refuse tests of any kind of type inside the open source product. So choose the product and you they want to join, to spend more time, to learn, to apply. Maybe you can learn more about a framework that you are using on production right now, that you are using your work. Introduce yourself in the mail list, observe what's going on, 
see the pull requests or modification requests, start to do some feedbacks on that, do what nobody else wants to do, like read the documentation, review the documentation, improve the documentation, uh, help on the tests because the test matters a lot. And the last one and the last advice is be a steward. A steward is a person responsible for overseeing and protecting something considerable worth caring and preserving. I took this quote from Mike Hennel, who is chief architect of the Java platform group. And he did that on the future of Java platform in the JDK, who's the chart. It's an amazing presentation where he explained more about the C words. Basically, everybody has amazing idea to put in the project. So probably every single day, this product might have a new idea about a new feature. Uh, and the point is, create a feature is much easier than maintain them and pay attention to that. Uh, based on that, understand that, avoid what does not make sense, understand first, overseeing first, and then give feedbacks around new features. Again, trust me, everybody will give new features, ideas, amazing ideas. However, it's hard to maintain, especially on the long term. That is all for today. Hopefully you can join open source products and please let me know each project do you want to join, do you want to apply more, do you want to understand more. And that is it for today. Bye.